Data fragmentation is a technique for distributing a single logical database across multiple sites in a computer network. Think of it like breaking a large book into chapters and storing each chapter in a different location for easier access. Data fragmentation is the process of breaking down a database relation into smaller, more manageable units called fragments. These fragments can then be stored at different locations within a distributed database system. These smaller fragments mean faster and more efficient access to your data. There are several key benefits to using data fragmentation. These include improved query performance. Because the data is divided up, queries can focus on smaller subsets of the data leading to faster results. Parallel processing of queries. Multiple fragments can be processed simultaneously across different sites speeding up overall query execution. Reduced network traffic. By storing data closer to where it's needed, we minimize the amount of data that needs to be transferred across the network. Enhanced data availability. If one site goes down, other sites still have their fragments available ensuring continuous operation. Better security through data isolation. Sensitive data can be stored in separate fragments with restricted access protecting it from unauthorized users. Think of a complete database relation being divided into fragment 1, fragment 2, and fragment 3. Horizontal fragmentation involves dividing a relation into subsets of tuples, also known as rows, where each fragment contains specific rows of the relation. In simpler terms, we're splitting the table horizontally based on certain criteria. Here are some key characteristics of horizontal fragmentation. It splits the table horizontally by rows. This type of fragmentation is based on selection predicates. These predicates determine which rows belong to which fragments. Each fragment maintains the same schema as the original relation, meaning they have the same columns. The complete original relation can be reconstructed by using the union operation to combine all the horizontal fragments. Consider this example of an employee table with columns like employee ID, name, salary, department, and location. Let's see how we can fragment the employee table by location. We will create two fragments, one for employees in New York and another for employees in Chicago. Fragment one consists of New York employees, based on the condition where location is New York. Fragment two includes Chicago employees based on the condition where location equals Chicago. To reconstruct the complete employee table, we can use the following query. Select asterisk from fragment one union, select asterisk from fragment two union, select asterisk from fragment three. This query combines all the fragments back into a single complete table. Vertical fragmentation involves dividing a relation into subsets of attributes, also known as columns where each fragment contains certain columns of the relation. In other words, we are splitting the table vertically based on the columns. Key characteristics of vertical fragmentation includes It splits the table vertically by columns. This type of fragmentation is based on attribute grouping, where related attributes are grouped together in the same fragment. The primary key is included in all fragments. This is essential for reconstructing the original relation. The complete original relation can be reconstructed by using the join operation to combine all vertical fragments. Let's go back to our original employee table including attributes, employee ID, name, salary, department, and location. Consider fragmenting the employee table by attribute groups. We will create two fragments one containing personal information and another containing work information. Fragment one includes personal information such as employee ID, name, and salary. Fragment two includes work information such as employee ID, department, and location. To reconstruct the complete employee table, we can use the following query. Select asterisk from fragment one natural join fragment two. This query combines the personal and work information fragments back into a single complete table. Hybrid fragmentation combines both horizontal and vertical fragmentation techniques, applying them in sequence to create more granular fragments. This approach allows for more precise data distribution. 
Characteristics of hybrid fragmentation include It combines both fragmentation types. Fragmentation can be vertical followed by horizontal or horizontal followed by vertical. It provides more precise data distribution. Reconstruction requires both join and union operations. Let's use the employee table and perform vertical fragmentation followed by horizontal fragmentation. First, we divide the original employee table into two vertical fragments, personal info and work info. Then we apply horizontal fragmentation to each of these vertical fragments based on location, resulting in fragments like New York Personal, New York Work, Chicago Personal, and Chicago Work. Let us compare the different fragmentation techniques. Horizontal fragmentation divides relation by rows, uses selection predicates, and it is ideal for location-based queries. Reconstruction happens via union, and all fragments have the same schema. Vertical fragmentation divides relation by columns. The primary key is present in all fragments. It is ideal for attribute-focused queries. Reconstruction happens via join and different schema is present in each fragment. Hybrid fragmentation combines both approaches and gives the most granular data distribution. It is ideal for complex query patterns. Reconstruction happens via join and union and is most complex to implement. To summarize, choose the fragmentation technique based on your query patterns, data distribution needs, and system architecture. The right fragmentation strategy can significantly improve performance, availability, and scalability in distributed database systems. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.